Hello and welcome to How to Draw Stuff with Pignit. My name is Jessie. If you have never met me before, nice to meet you. Welcome. Take a seat. Grab a pencil. This video was inspired by my dog Luna's little koala that she's only ripped one eyeball off of so far. Today we're going to learn how to draw a koala and I've actually realized this is very easy to draw so bear with me. I hope you have an eraser because I think it's easy but maybe you won't. <laughs> So let's find out. So the first thing that we're going to do is draw the branch that the koala is going to be sitting on. Just a quick like little suggestion of a branch basically. You can probably hardly see that but it's just a couple of lines that really suggest like where it's going to be. Right next to the branch, draw a circle. Now the koala is going to be laying up against the branch like this. I like to put in lines to suggest where the face is going to be. It will probably help you, I suggest it just across in the middle for her body. We'll do sort of like a bowling pin type shape, just like that, coming from her neck into the branch. Right above that line, we'll do two C shapes. And I like to do little C shapes because it suggests that there's light coming from this side and it just kind of brings more life to the character. We're gonna give her a couple of eyelashes. For her nose, the top of her nose is gonna go just a little above this cross, but it's basically an upside down U. And then at the bottom, it connects with more of a straight line. Give her a little smile. The top of her head is flatter so we'll make that a little straighter. And then she's gonna have big ears, kind of like a mouse. Just start with two big round shapes, very lightly. This ear's gonna come out in front of the branch so we don't have to worry about hiding it. But then at the top of the ears, put a couple of strands of hair to suggest that the top of the ears are a little fuzzier. Next to that first line you did, we'll do a, another smaller line on the inside and then a couple zigzags. And this will show the inside of the ear. So her cheeks are gonna be a little chubbier than this circle. So just outside the circle, we'll go out a little before coming in. Do the same on this side. Don't worry about down here right now, that's not gonna matter. Let's put in her arm. So this arm is going to be going right up under her chin. Follow that same line and you'll bring it to the edge of this branch. So just bring it there right now and stop. And then I'd say about an inch down, we'll start right about there. We're gonna curve up towards that other line. So to do her hand, just do a curve and then a couple smaller ones and that'll kind of give the idea of a hand. Do you see what I mean? One on the outside and then a couple more on the inside that come in. Now her other hand is just going to be behind this branch so we're not going to see it right here but we're just going to see her fingers. So just do a curve going that way. Just do a circle for starters but then a couple lines. And you see how that just looks like fingers curling around the branch? For her knee, we're just gonna start right about in the middle of this area, and we're just gonna do a big curve like that. Do a little one going the opposite direction, sort of like a Y shape. Go a little darker around her butt. And now just like the hands up here, for her feet, we're gonna do the same thing. Just a couple swoops to give the idea of a foot. Let's draw the baby. So the baby's gonna be drawn exactly like this one. Little circle. She's resting up against her mom's back. Do a little cross. This time though, let's make her sleeping. Do a tiny version of the nose. Little smile. Flatter head. We'll do big circles for her ears. Give her a couple of furry lines. 
cheeks are a little chubbier. Same bowling pin type shape. Her arms going up. A couple gestures for the hands. And then that same knee shape. A couple swoops. And then we'll go in and go a little darker with the branch so we can see it. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a little color in this and then we'll see how it goes. Let me know if you tried to draw this koala bear. If you'd like to, I'd love for you to share it with me. Use the hashtag pigment and make sure you tweet or tag me in the picture if you're using Instagram or Twitter so that I can see it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this kind of video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Comment below letting me know if you found it helpful or let me know if you have any ideas for something that you'd like to see me try to draw. If you like videos like this, you can subscribe by hitting the button below this video. Thanks again so much for watching. I'll see you next time.